Today I am going to do a tutorial on how to create a 12 by 12 layout in Adobe Spark. First you'll go to spark.adobe.com and if you have an iCloud account you'll want to be sure to log in. Then you'll go to the plus sign and click on post. Then we're going to click on start from scratch. Click custom. Then you'll type in the dimensions. For a perfect 12 by 12 print, you want your pixels to be 3600 by 3600. Next, you're going to upload your photos or you can choose from tons of stock photos already in Adobe Spark. So you'll find where your pictures are saved and then you'll select the ones that you want to be in your layout. You can also add in photos from Adobe Spark. So I'm going to search Easter and I think I'm going to add in this one. Okay, and it's going to put your photos in the layout for you. Then you can go through and edit them how you'd like. And if you'd like, there's tons of variations over on the right hand side that you can choose from and it'll automatically put your pictures in that format. You can also click on design, colors, layout, and resize. Tons of different options you can do with all of those. So I'm going to click on one of the boxes and you can scale it, zoom in, out, rotate it if you need to. You can move it up and pan it. I'm also going to move this text. If you double click inside, then you can edit it. So then you can resize that and move it where you'd like. Then you can also change the colors by clicking on the color tab. And you can edit, you can choose from all of these suggested palettes, or you can also edit them. So if you click the eyedropper tool, then you can select a color from one of your pictures. And if you want to change the other color, you'll click the, that one. Hit save, you can change them, shuffle them. You can also change the font by going clicking on type and then you can change the font in here. Also, if you see the logo on the bottom right, you can click on that. You can upgrade your Adobe Spark account for just $9.99 and that will automatically remove the logo for you and you can replace it with your own. Or if you wanna just remove that logo once, you can click remove once. So you can edit the size of these photos if you'd like. If you select one of your images and you decide you wanna add a filter, then you can do that. You can also change that whole block to color if you decide you don't want a picture there. You just click on color fill and you can put a color in there and then if you wanted to add other text you can do that. If you ever do something that you decide you didn't want to do you can just click the undo button up top. Then we'll just go ahead and click out. If you go to the plus symbol you'll see how you can add more text, add another photo, an icon, a logo. You can also change the layout by clicking on the layout tab and you can see all the layouts there can also add a border and you can change the thickness. Remember for print you want to make sure your border is at least one eighth of an inch to allow for print bleed. So our printers will trim that in just a little bit. So you want to make it a little bit thicker. And if you click on design you can go back and look at the variations. If you click on colors then you can change the colors of the border. If you hit shuffle, it'll shuffle through all the colors that are in your current palette. Or you can go through and change the colors by clicking on the icon. 
Okay, so once you have your layout how you want it, then you can go up here and you can click in that box and label it. And then you can download it. It's automatically going to save to your downloads. Oops. And now I'm going to show you how easy it is to order on persnicketyprints.com. So you'll open up a new tab, go to persnicketyprints.com, log into your account. Once you're logged in, you'll go to prints, prints and enlargements. This will bring you to the album page and then you can go to upload photos, browse images, find your downloads folder and find your layout that you just saved. Click choose. Click done. Then you will click on the image that you want to order. If you have multiple, you can click select all. Go to order prints. Choose photographic prints. Find the 12 by 12. Select it. Click next. Choose your paper type. Click next. Type in the quantity. Click next. Then you'll have it in your cart and you can go ahead and check out.